Greetings, Airshow fans. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Stryker Curtis. Welcome back to the 2023 Virtual International Air Festival. On behalf of Heat Blur Simulations, you're about to witness the first ever virtual public demonstration of the McDonnell Douglas F4E Phantom II. That's right, after over two years of intense development, Heepler has spared almost no expense to bring you the most detailed and high fidelity F4 module based on actual performance data and accurate aircraft systems simulation. The F4 Phantom II is a two-seat, twin-engine tactical fighter designed to cover the entire tactical mission of close air support, interdiction, and air superiority. Originally developed in 1953 by McDonald Aircraft Corporation for the U.S. Navy, the aircraft was delivered modified to Air Force requirements in 1963. The first F-4E, the type shown here today, was delivered to the Air Force in October 1967. Just some of the improvements in the E-model are an additional fuselage fuel tank, improved engines, and an internally mounted 20mm multi-barrel gun with an improved fire control system. So ladies and gentlemen, with a takeoff roll of 4,490 feet, get ready to hear the sound of the General Electric Axial Flow J79 engines as the legend is about to return to the skies here once again. Flying today in the pilot seat is Grayson Grey Wolf Frober, the voice of Jester. In the back seat, also known as the guy in the back, is Jeff Grimes Sork, also a veteran of Digital Combat Simulator. The F4A you see here today is equipped with leading edge maneuvering slats to include updated weapons and radar controls that were optimized for dogfighting, vastly improving the Phantom's air to air capabilities. Furthermore, the F4E's new wings enabling it to be more forgiving in the stalls and spins caused by harsh maneuvers with heavy bomb loads. In addition, each outer wing is angled up at 12 degrees. From the left, watch closely as Grey Wolf and Grimes demonstrate the effectiveness of those leading edge slats with a minimum radius turn followed by a loop. meaning on guard for peace. The aircraft displays a C or Southeast Asia paint wrapped around the entire jet, which later morphed into the famous European One scheme, the later standard for the United States Air Force in Europe during this period. Also notice the shark mount on the nose of the aircraft, a one-off special style that was on this particular Phantom. Now inbound from the ride watches Grey Wolf and Grimes showcase the paint once more on the Phantom with a slow roll. Down from the left, it's Grey Wolf and Grimes showcasing the underside of that beautiful F4 with the bottom of pass. Ladies 
and gentlemen, look inbound, retired, but brought back to life. There it is, your F4 Phantom II. to catalog Grey Wolf and Grimes as they execute the four point roll. Now throughout its service, many fans of the F4, known as the Phantom Fanatics, called and labeled this aircraft the Fabulous Phantom. A ground crewman who worked on the aircraft for many years, also known as the Phantom Fixers. The J-79 produced noticeable amounts of black smoke as you're witnessing today, especially at mid-throttle and cruise settings. Severe disadvantage in that it made it easier for the enemy to spot the aircraft. Two decades after the aircraft entered service, this was solved on the F-4S, which was fitted with the Dash 10A engine smokeless combustor. And ladies and gentlemen, look to the left. For gear down, flap set 30. It's Grable for Grimes for the dirty roll. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go inside the cockpit. Great Wolf, this is Chris Stryker, Curtis at Show Center. Can you read me? I read you, Stryker. On behalf of Heepler, thank you to the VIAF staff for inviting us, for giving us the opportunity to showcase a little bit of what the Phantom can do when she means business. Grimes and I hope everyone is having a great air show. We will see you all in the skies of DCS very soon. Now, folks, get your cameras ready. Look to the right for your Heepler F4E photo pass. The F4 power plant employs two General Electric J79 GE 17A afterburning turbojet engines. Each engine generating 17,845 pounds of thrust with afterburn. Combined at max burner, that's 35,690 pounds of thrust, taking it, folks, get this, to a maximum speed of Mach 2.23. Now, folks, watch one more time as Grey Wolf rolls right, brakes left for the roll and break for landing. Great Wolf and Crimes make preparations to land. Let me note that of the 5,057 F4s produced, 1,370 were F4Es just like you see here today. In fact, beginning in 1959, the Phantom II set 15 world records for in-flight performance, including an absolute speed record, an absolute altitude record. More importantly, and in the final analysis, the United States Air Force F4 Phantom's operational history F-4 pilots were credited with a total of 150.5 big kills at a cost of 42 Phantoms in air combat. As they 
taxi back to parking. Also note the 16-foot braking parachute there. More importantly, now that you've witnessed this legendary airplane up close and come back to life, be sure to go to store.heatblur.com. Free order your very own F4 right now. And if you do it right now, save 25% off you can still pre-purchase it. This is Chris Stryker Curtis saying thank you. And I'll see all of you next time in a virtual air show near you.